welcome to another Ripping Through Time episode. The toughest part about this Stevie Ray Vaughan song, Pride and Joy, the intro of it, to me anyways, is getting this, this thing down with him muting. I watched a bunch of videos of him playing this and he doesn't mute with his right hand at all. What he's doing, he's keeping this going the entire time, just between the low strings, or string or two, and the high string, but, what he does is as soon as he hits the high string, he mutes it with whatever finger he's fretting the bass string with. So in this case, what I would recommend doing, because this is the hardest part of playing this whole song uh, to me, is just getting that rhythm done. And the biggest thing is making sure those high strings don't ring up as soon as you hit them. And the other thing that's tricky about this little rhythm bit is you have the first note, the open E, then the high E string. Then you have this note, high strings again. But as soon as you hit those high strings, you hammer on with your third finger. So it's kind of a subtle walking bass line. Something like that. Other than that, it's really just learn the rest of the licks. And right there, when you go to that part, you start getting this, that rhythm that continues throughout the rest of the lick. So I did a lot of research um, on the gear and tone that Stevie used to get this, and I ended up um, finding out through watching a lot of live videos, reading a lot of blogs, and ultimately listening to a YouTube video that had the isolated guitar track for this song, and I ended up deciding that it was the middle position pickup on a strap for this one. So if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Let us know what riffs you would like to see in the next Riffing Through Top. See you later.